Hi, and welcome back to Joel's DIY. Uh, today I got a very special uh, amplifier to demo today. This is the Yamaha Natural Sound Digital Sound Field Processing Amplifier, DSP A1000. This amplifier is probably from around 1991. So this is a made in Japan Yamaha amplifier. Uh, I was very happy to get this amp, uh, even though it did cost more than I thought I would spend on an amp uh, of this age. But this is very special. Um, as you can see, the front panel, front panel is completely metal. There's no plastic here, uh, maybe except for the buttons. Uh, but this panel is a piece of metal that when you open it, shows a bunch of different dials to control the bass. Uh, this is something I'm not even sure what it is. I guess I have to read the manual to kind of figure out what the input trim is. But it's got a, a bass extension. It's got a treble and a, and a bass control. And it also has got a balance control. And then uh, obviously you can uh, select the record out input from here. And you got your old school S video and your auxiliary with your uh, composite video. Um, this is a very good amp and let me show you the back this is a bit dirty because i haven't cleaned it yet but uh you does have your phono uh, preamp in here that you can hook up your uh record player or your, your turntable um you got your cd player you got a tuner you got a tape deck uh several you got like two of them here or there and then you could also connect uh, anything with video. So you got your laser disc, your TV, VCR, etc. Obviously, in this time they didn't have a DVD players aren't in the market yet, so you wouldn't find an input for that yet. Uh, and then I'm very happy that something this old school has the inputs for banana plugs, which is something you usually don't find in amplifiers. Uh, this these old this old uh, usually you'll find uh, just those. Uh, latch ones that you just kind of push down and then you could put your input in but these actually come with the banana plugs which is um, something i'm very happy to have gotten with this um it's got several other controls that i'm not sure what they do i mean you got a bunch of stuff here that i don't even know not sure exactly what's that for i guess i got to read up on the manual um you do get uh your front speakers or the main speakers here and from what I've read in the guide, I think the second output is the center uh, speaker. So you have an input for two center speakers, but if you wanna, I guess, use it as another uh, set of speakers, uh, so you can kind of get that quadraphonic kind of sound, uh, you could uh, put your other two speakers here, and then you would have the front ones with the center ones. That, that I think is what the intent is, because these both output about 100 watts. Um, and 80, it's 80 watts for uh, 8 ohms and uh, 100 watts for 6 ohms. So I got 6 ohm speakers, so I should be able to get a good, a pretty good output from, from these two. Um, and obviously you do get your surround sound, so if you want to set that up, you can get your front speakers, your rear speakers, and obviously the center speaker. Um, so yeah, uh, this is a very nice, and like I said before, made in Japan. 400 watts total, 60 hertz. Oops, I guess I didn't mean to do that. I guess I can tape that back on. Uh, the serial number is uh, E20039, and then I think I, uh, 2PR. So uh, I have not been able to test this yet. I kind of bought it blindly, which I, I guess I probably shouldn't have, but I mean, this is made in Japan, so I would hope that this is probably better quality than the ones that they made later on where you got all kinds of problems with overheating and stuff like that um so what i need to do here is i'm going to give this a very good cleanup this thing weighs a ton i mean it must weigh jesus at least 20 to 35 pounds i'm not sure this is a very heavy heavy amp um as a matter of fact let's i, I do have the the back panel disassembled i'm going to go ahead and open it in one second Okay, and here's a look at a look at the inside and as you can see i mean you got a lot of hardware inside of this uh amplifier i mean 
you got these huge heat sinks you got uh look at the size of that power supply I mean, this is my hand i mean look how big and look at the size of those capacitors i mean it's just insane um so this was definitely very high end uh when it was first released i mean it's top top notch i mean you're gonna get top notch when it's you know the label has yamaha and it's you got it made from uh, japan so uh it's very dirty and and actually when i turned it on um i got a really weird smell but i don't think it was burned i think it's just all this dust that's in here that once the machine starts heating up uh you know starts kind of heating up all that dust in there so i, I guess i got to get my compressor and give it a good cleaning so uh so yeah so uh well that will be the next thing that i do I'll, i gotta give it a good cleaning with my compressor uh totally good quality i mean made in japan okay so i got the whole thing cleaned up uh i guess as best as i could um there's a display i just noticed that uh part of the display light is not working quite correct because that r should be showing all the way so i guess that's where it's showing its age but other than that everything else works i went ahead and tested it earlier um and i have it hooked up to some yamaha speakers uh, that i recently picked up so these speakers are the uh, nsa 575 uh, uh the, these the subwoofer right here has been replaced uh and i bought it like that i mean it's not the original one i can tell right away because I have uh, other Yamaha speakers and I know that that's not right. But the other two speakers are original. And then you can see a little bit of information about the wattage. So this is what I'm gonna be using to demo this amp. And right off the bat, I'm very impressed with the sound that uh, this uh, is giving me right now. So let me go ahead and uh, start turning on a CD. So I got the, the Ben Sound uh, CD in there. Uh, I burned the new ones just with some new tracks uh, to, to kind of demo my uh, home electronics. This is a Denim uh, DCD810 uh, CD player. Very good CD player. Uh, it's probably from the 80s, but still works very well made in Japan. So I will be using this to play on my speakers. So here we go. So I'm very impressed right off the bat with the sound and the clarity of the sound coming out of these speakers. Uh, this is going to be a wonderful addition to my sound system and I just can't wait to try out some vinyl and stuff on this. So, so my final thoughts is if you have a chance to uh, pick up a Yamaha uh, DSP A1000 or pretty much any of the DSP uh, lines of uh, Yamaha amplifiers, I would strongly suggest to get one. Uh, they do weigh a ton. I mean, this thing probably weighs about 35 pounds. Uh, and I think most of the weight is distributed on the uh, power supply that's right here because it's just so, so heavy. Um, so yeah, yeah, I could definitely feel like all the weight is on this side. Uh, aside from the wear that it has in the top, and now I could probably paint this someday, but I'm probably not going to do that now. Um, this is in very good condition. I mean, even though the light's messed up right there, but um, but I'm going to probably hook this up to my home stereo and uh, enjoy the new sound, 100 watts of sound of this little, this big amplifier. I was going to call it little. This big amplifier is going to give me and my in my setup. All right, well, thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day.